Hello, my name is Dan Richardson. Welcome to the Dan Richardson Show. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Alien Resurrection. So, this is a bad movie. Basically, um, spoilers for Alien 3. Spoilers for Alien 3. I'm gonna, if you haven't seen Alien 3 yet, go, go away. Also, spoilers for this movie, because it's, it's a bad movie, and like, you can watch it if you want. You can wa continue watching this video if you want, but you know, it's, it's a bad movie. So, I'll probably just be spoiling it. But, basically, um, uh, after Ripley's death in the previous Alien film, uh, they basically clone Ripley from, like, a bit of blood, although I don't think she ever bleeds in, I don't think there's, or, okay, maybe, I don't think she ever, like, bleeds in the previous film. Like, nothing really happens to her, uh, too much, except for the fact that she dies in the last Alien movie. And, uh, but they basically somehow get a DNA, DNA sample from her, they clone her, and, um, they also clone, they clone her to specifically clone the alien queen that was inside her, and they, um, clone, so the clone, Ripley, they have to teach her everything, but they're also worried about her having memories from her past life as actual Ripley. And then, um, you also have the, uh, clone alien queen, the xenomorph queen, and it's like, okay. And they show the xenomorphs a little too much, like, I think the xenomorph, the xenomorph queen, they just show her a little too much. There's this ugly humanoid, or more human white xenomorph ugly baby thing and it's just horrible and hideous and who thought that was a good idea Snugarni Weaver is very wooden in her performance um there's just a lot of stupid things in this movie and I don't know why it was like I obviously made because money but like, I don't know why they make certain decisions. And if you watch um, the, basically all special, all those like director's cut slash special editions on this Blu-ray have the directors like sort of talking in front of it, except for except for David Fincher in um, the third Alien movie, because he probably really had nothing to do with that third movie, although, or, the, or he wants nothing to do with the third movie and doesn't really talk about the third movie and just, probably didn't want to be a part of the like special edition of it. But the guy who made this film, uh, who made Resurrection, Alien 4, was like, this is not a director's cut. It's just um, a special edition where I added a few more scenes. And he says that he's very proud of his movie. I've heard that he, he also directed like a really famous um, French film uh, that I actually heard about in my French class, back when I took French in high school. And he says that he's very proud of this movie and he really wouldn't change too much. He just added a few scenes in. And I didn't watch that version because um, I wanted to get this video out for y'all as quick as I could and I just didn't like this movie that much. And Ron Perlman doesn't really bring like the energy or the, the class that he typically brings to his roles. Uh, Josh Whedon, he um, wrote this film, and um, it's a bad movie. Uh, he's written some good things throughout the years, but no, this movie's just bad. Not recommended at all. Um, it's just not good in general. Uh, and that's really sad, because I'm probably going to have to wait a few weeks, um, or, you know, a little while before I can, like, review Prometheus and uh, Alien Covenant. But yeah, um, sadly, this is ending on more of a dour note. But this movie is just generally bad. Um, when it comes to ranking them, I would like, 
I think it'd be like Alien, you know, sort of the order that they released in, like, so, or kind of somewhat where it's like Aliens, because that's really good, and then Alien, like, those are sort of both really good. Those can kind of be swapped between, like, one and two. And then three is the third movie. And this one is just, like, it doesn't even deserve a place on the, on, like, the good list. It's, like, it just, a best for me right now, a best should just have the original three, and then the worst should just have Animal Resurrection on it. This isn't a good film. Um, I think I mentioned this, but Renona Ryder is in this film, and she's not that good in it. Um, she's pretty good in, uh, like, Stranger Things, but she's not good in this film. And so, thank you for watching this video, but I'm about to go into, like, really a major spoiler here. So, I'll give you, like, a few seconds to leave. Okay, so I assume you left. Um, at the end of this movie, we finally return to Earth, and it's like, uh, like, destroyed, like, it's destroyed, uh, um, Earth, and, like, uh, Cernigy, uh, and, um, Renona Ryder's character is like, this is my first time seeing Earth, uh, you know, um, and it's not really the way that, you know, you would imagine it. And, uh, you know, they're saying how, like, the military might come soon because, you know, they they kind of landed on the planet, but, like, it was unannounced. So it's like, you know, uh, the military might come soon, but this is probably a very easy place to, to um, get lost in. So maybe we can just ditch the ship and hopefully the military will never find us. And Sigourney was like, or and the clone Ripley is like, well, I'm a stranger here too, so let's just sit here and wait for a little while while we look at... And honestly, I don't think they really know that this is like a destroyed Paris. Because, you know, you see the Eiffel Tower and it's just like, what is the point of, why is it destroyed? Like, I realize this is like 200 years in like the future of Alien 3. But like, and I guess Alien 3 takes place relatively close to Aliens, I guess. But like, why? Why destroy the Earth? And it, there, there's just stuff like that is what makes me question the the choices of the film. But yeah, so tell me, is there someone who likes this movie? I would really, I would like to know, because if there is, you know, I like to get to know you. Because and explain why you like this film. Because this is a bad movie. If you dislike this movie, tell me about it. Because honest to God, I probably agree with you. Remember, movies can be bad, movies can be good. Um, certain movies that people like, you can you dislike. Certain movies that other people hate, you can like. We're all unique in that way, but Alien Resurrection is just one of those movies that I think everyone can agree is just bad. So, remember, God made you special. He loves you very much. I hope y'all are staying safe and that you're washing your hands. And especially if you're going back to school because it's September or it's uh, it's like one week away from September. We're getting close uh, to like, I think everybody being back to school. So I've been Darrenson. I hope you enjoyed this video and bye.